Hey, good morning, Steve and Dad. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you so much for your time today, Steve. Appreciate it. I thought we'd start on the roof because you rarely get to see the roofs and show you the uh, 165 watt solar panel that will be on this one and the uh, other one I'm going to show you, the 231 RK right over there. That's going to run your awnings, your lights, your electric, even your refrigerator should you ever run out of power. Uh, you can add a second battery to this for a couple hundred bucks and that would always ensure you have fresh food in the fridge no matter what. Grand Design gives you some attic vents to help with condensation in the wintertime, just like a house. You can see the quality of the build up here on the 18 year warranted roof, 15K Furion AC, central ducted, lots of vents as you can see, great big awning, we'll look at that from the outside, and even the slide outs are walkable. So. If you ever needed to do any maintenance, this is your WineGuard 360 TV antenna. So nothing to have to wind up and wind down anymore. You know where we're at, exit 220. Crestview RV. I'm going to jump down and I'll show you the inside of both this one, which is the 245 RL, and then of the rear kitchen one that you liked as well. All right, so this is the uh, slightly larger of the two. One grand difference in price as we discussed, but grand design quality. This is called a hard wall. I hope that's not the rear kitchen disappearing. It's not. Um, we can't hang on to these. <laughs> um, so this is an R9 insulated wall. It's metal sided. It's the only metal sided camper I can really, really recommend. Notice how much wider these are. It's a nice matte finish twice as thick. You can't punch a dent in these as you can the other metal sided campers. Completely different ball game here with Grand Design. R40 insulation on the roof and the front cap. I keep saying R30 on the insulated enclosed underbelly. I have to double check that. It is on the rest of them. It might be a little bit less on the transcends, but you do have an R9 insulation on that wall. Great big um, awning here that goes all the way out on both of them. You have some 110 outlets if you want to spend some time outside watching TV. That's easy with the cable as well. I don't know why I can't open this. It's stuck. I'll have to unstuck that. Unstick it. Both of them have two doors, which you liked, Steve, and your dad probably will as well. And they both have screen doors, so on a day unlike today when it's not 100 and frickin' 7 degrees. You can get a good breeze going through here because Grand Design insists that all their windows open up 50%. And this one has a great big window in the back. So what I mean by 50% is this whole thing opens up with the screen. There's the ladder to the roof. Most metal sided campers aren't gonna have that because they're not built well enough for one. This is, as you saw the roof there. So inside this one is going to be the largest of the two. Some of it's going to just depend on, on, on just desire of which floor plan you like better. Grand Design doesn't put any vents in their floor. It's a big plus. It's a 12 volt refrigerator that will run from that solar panel. It has an inverter to make it do so. Triple recliners here with a divider in the middle and a 110 outlet next to it so you can plug in a laptop or what have you. So you can either have that divider or have three individual recliners, all of which are directly across from your smart TV. It's a Roku TV right from the beginning. Lots of counter space on this one. I don't know why my camera is crooked, but it is. Lots of storage as you can see, cabinet, cabinet drawers, nothing stapled, everything wood screws, pocket screwed, hard wall or hard wood. That couch will make into a, uh, it's a trifold bed if you ever needed it to. More storage above the couch 
and that's deep. That's a good foot and a half deep and the entire length of the camper. Great big window here. So tons of natural light in this one when you want it and when you don't, you don't. Because you don't know, now you know. Great big middle bath. Another reason these are nicer is the Grand Design starts out from the get-go with a porcelain toilet, not plastic. Lots of to towel storage. I can't reach my hand. Well, I can barely. Up to there on my shoulder. <laughs> so that's a good four feet deep there for towels and whatnot. And then a big shower. which leads into your bedroom which is a standard queen bed so 60 inches by 80 inches he may well want to add a topper or just replace that mattress to, uh, completely one day so much easier if it's a standard queen which in this case it is if he likes to do a little TV at night there's a place there for a TV that's inexpensive to do and nice of 110 and USB tar charge ports on each side of the bed for him and then a little bit of storage underneath. Each one of these two I'm going to show you, Steve and Dad, are going to have the folding table in there. So that when you do want a table over there, you could. This particular one has a little bit of extra drawer space and closet space with the hanging rod up there. And then the second exit. Maybe. Might have to lock, unlock that from the outside. So this is the 245. Let's go look at the rear kitchen version and find out why this is an opening. So, but they both have that screen door. This is a. Took me two years to figure out what this was. It's a flagpole holder. So fly your flag, I guess. That one or this one, which also has two doors, same big awning, just a different floor plan. The kitchen is in the back. Still has the ladder to the roof. And we have an RV, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, Steve. We have an RV park here on site where we teach you the camper just as though you're in it, meaning AC is blowing cold, water's running, everything just like, and then we invite you to spend the night in it to make sure that everything's working 100% before you go get it set up. Nothing's more frustrating than going on your first camping trip or setting it up for the first time, getting all settled in and discovering something doesn't work because getting it back in for service is a nightmare right now. So if we can do all that before you leave, if your first camping trip is here at the dealership, and we can take care of anything that might have happened overnight that you didn't understand or didn't work. Much better scenario. So this is the rear kitchen. A couple recliners, some pantry, same refrigerator. But now you have a dedicated booth dinette across from your recliners. You lose the big window in the back because that's where the kitchen is in this case. Still have the smart TV directly across from your recliners. Bathroom and bedroom are going to be pretty much identical. Same storage here. And these I think are shelves instead of closet. They are. And lots of storage up here. Same storage under the bed, same table under the bed, same TV location. This can be mounted on a swing arm so that it comes out and it's pretty much 90 degrees to you. Just a little bit more compact, but you may want that table. If you want a permanent, that'll make into a sleeping area by the way, but 
this is the position right here so those are the two we landed on Steve I hope the videos help or the video helps your dad kind of decide but we're open seven days a week Sundays one to five I'm here every day you can't miss me my cell phone which you have on that card of the brochure is 406 696 4750 406-696-4750 Too Tall Paul Ready when you guys are Let me know kind of which one you're favoring or just stop back in and we'll go through them again. Thanks so much. Let's go camping